Playing guitar is easy. Guys, it's Rob here from Rob School of Music, and I just wanted to come at you real quick to tell you something that you probably don't want to hear. Playing guitar is hard. Anything in life you want to do isn't going to be easy. The hardest things in life turn out to be the most gratifying things in life. So I'm going to hit you with five things that you need to know about guitar before you start playing. Number one, you have to practice. You're just not going to magically pick up the instrument and be able to play. Even if a couple of chords come easy to you, that's okay. But the secret sauce to practicing is this. If you take every practice session, say it's a half hour you're going to practice, you take a third of that, you take 10 minutes, you do something that's challenging. That way you're going to constantly progress. A lot of people, oh, I learned these fun chords, I can play Wonderwall. I'll play Wonderwall all day. For the rest of your life, you're playing Wonderwall. But if you play Wonderwall for a while, then you work on your uh, major scale, that's going to force you to do something that may not seem as much fun in the beginning, but in the bigger picture, it's going to be more gratifying because you're going to challenge yourself and you're going to progress. Number two, all I got to do is strum. Why is it so difficult? Well, contrary to popular belief, guitar is a little more, a little bit more complicated than you may think it is. Let's say you're playing drums. You hit the drum, boom, the sound comes right out. Let's say you're playing piano. You press the keys. Yeah, a hammer's pressing a string, but as far as you're concerned, you press down and a sound occurs. On the guitar, you have to fret the notes with one hand and strum with the other. Two motions. That makes it double the difficulty. So don't ever let anyone tell you, oh, I just strum, why is it so hard? No, there's a lot of complexity into what's going on. But the more you practice, the easier it will become. Number three, I can't play guitar because I only have an acoustic guitar. Or I can't play guitar because I only have an electric guitar. If I had an acoustic, it would be louder. If I had an electric, I could play with distortion. Let me tell you guys the truth. It's all the same thing. If you look back at this acoustic guitar, guess what? It's strings and it's a bridge. You look at the electric guitar, it's strings and it's a bridge. The fundamentals are exactly the same. You play the chords the same, you strum the same. Yeah, there's some nuances, but the truth is it doesn't matter what guitar you have, it's going to be equally as difficult and equally as easy depending on the amount of time you put into it. Number four. I have to learn how to read music to play guitar. Now that's not true. Let's be real, guys. Reading music is the language that we use to communicate as musicians. It is the same combinations of sounds that I use to make letters out of my mouth to make words to talk to you right now. But on guitar, we can teach you tablature, we can teach you chord charts. You can play music without reading music, but reading music is important. So when someone tells you up front, oh my god, you have to read music, otherwise you'll never play guitar, that's not necessarily true. But reading music is beneficial. But it should be up to you how you choose to learn it. No teacher should ever shove down your throat. you got to read standard notation, otherwise you'll never be able to play guitar. That's really not the reality of it all. So watch out for that. And lastly, number five. Don't be intimidated by what you see on the internet. There's a lot of Instagram guitarists out there that are literally shredding to the point where my face is constantly melted right onto the floor. But the reality is the talent that those people have is very special talent that not everyone is going to achieve. But that doesn't mean you can't do what you do. You have to choose. It's a conscious choice to be inspired by these players, not intimidated. If you see someone doing something and you want to learn how to do it, reach out to your teacher and ask to be taught and put the time in. But the reality is, all those people out there feeling like, I'll never be able to do it, well, you'll never be able to do it if you don't try. But let that be an inspiration, maybe not necessarily an end goal. It takes time to get there, but there's a lot of trickery going on behind the scenes too. Sometimes these people aren't really playing what you think they're playing. Okay, hot take. Sometimes they've played it to the recording, and now they're just sort of lip-syncing with their guitar. So it makes it look like it's one take, but it's not. Music is dangerous, and music isn't always perfect, and that's okay. But don't allow what you're seeing out there on the internet and on social media to intimidate you to the point where you're afraid to pick up the instrument and try. You can electrify an audience or blow your own mind with three chords in the same capacity as you can if you play 6,000 notes. It doesn't matter. Music is a transference of energy. And as long as you're doing that and having a good time doing it, be it in your bedroom or in a local bar or on the biggest stage you can imagine, you are achieving the goal. You are playing music. So I hope those five tips help you guys out, clarify some things about playing the guitar, about playing music. Remember, it is never too late to try. You are never too old. The right time is always right now. So pick up that guitar, look on the internet, watch some videos, reach out to us. we got a free lesson if you click down below. And we hope to see you rocking really soon. We'll see you next time.